he can. Can you please have okay. a seat? My name is Ken, and this is Ken. The first thing I noticed when I sat down with Chef Tam was that the straws in my drink were made of lemongrass, and y'all know how much I don't like plastic straws, so of course, this was the first thing I had to learn. Okay, lemongrass straw. The lemongrass yes. straw. I've, because I have my drink here with the lemongrass straw, and um, you know how I feel about straws. It's not great, plastic straws. So it's this is plastic. a this is a good alternative. Okay, so, so you got your lemongrass. First, grass. you cut this bottom part of the lemongrass like that, and then cut the top a little bit so it will not become too long. Okay. And then we peel it out, can you see? One lemongrass stock can make quite a few of them. Really? Of course, because you peel it out. Oh, yeah. You see that? Okay. And a few more, but you can see what happened. Try. It leaked all the way. Can you try it? Okay, cut this one. Okay, it's a little bit hard. Sorry. Ah, yeah. Okay. You can do this. Oh, yeah. One. No, I got it. Like that. See? Oh, look at that. See, look what at that. happened is kind of. But, you know, the bigger one, it may leak. Right, so the, sm the smaller right, ones. It doesn't that much, but anyway. But it's still got some air, like yeah. loose, right? Look at that. So to solve that problem, we just soak them in a plain room temperature water. You soak it in yes. warm water? Leave it for a few minutes. Okay. It will seal and close tight like this. Oh, it seals and closes tight. Okay. By itself. So this is no plastic inside. Wow. That's an amazing trick. Okay, I learned something great already. But you can use it for another benefit, which means you can use it as a stick with a school. Or the school. Oh, it's a skewer. Right. A little bit. Because it's choppy now. To screw the prawn, the oh, fit. What a great idea. Oh, even the barbecue piece of meat, you know. Meat. But so you, 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 but that's a soaking it in warm water for how long? Not warm water, just cold water. Oh, cold water. Yeah. For how long? For like five minutes. Oh, five, five minutes. minutes. And then it'll get really yes, tight. You can see that. The longer it will roll itself tighter. What a great idea. You I can love make even that. the meatball, chicken ball, fish by the end. Yeah. And you can grill it, you can deep fry, you can steam it. You can have the presentations right there. Yeah. And also the aroma will be released out. So right. When you eat. That's amazing. We are starting the pad thai lesson. That's very okay, exciting. Pad thai. We use this kind of rice stick noodle. Which I believe that you can find them in any Asian market. Over okay. There. It comes in many sizes, but this one, about three millimeters, is a good size, so would you know. Okay. Oh, it smells, smells so good already. It smells so good. And then we can put the baby dry shrimp. The baby dry shrimp. And then mint radish. Mint radish. And then tofu. That's why you need a small piece of them. Now you put shrimp. See, in the old time, you don't even put shrimp, but this way, you don't put shrimp with it. Oh, we don't want to be sweet. And you know the size of the shrimp. Um, I love prawns. You so. fries. But I think it's just a little bit of it. It's not too big. And the big shrimp doesn't get that big. You don't have to worry about the shrimp not cooked because by the time the meat is it's going to be completely cooked. Now, we put everything cut into a side. Make the opposite side of the work empty because you're going to cook the noodle. Right. Okay, we put the noodle in and then add some water. You don't need about three to four minutes for the noodle, the noodle to be cooked. What you need to put water. Okay. So if you make a lot, you're going to cook the noodle thicker. Right. I love this though because I like to do things in one pan. Yes. Um, and so I love that you can make pad thai in one pan. That's amazing. It's can you stir it. When the water is dried out, you then it's pretty much cooked. Yeah, you check the, uh, the noodle and see. It has to be completely cooked, not al dente. Because you cannot tell from the look. I cannot tell from the look. They look the same. Okay. Okay, now. 
And what are you, you're just trying to get the right softness? Yeah, no. You can let it fine and you can see. Oh, okay. This one. Then we mix it. They completely cook much of the Oh, yeah. Then you mix it and add that Katai sauce. Remember Katai season? That's the sauce. And people can be put in a big sauce. And they just stir it. Make sure that all the ingredients are working with the sauce. When the sauce is dry, like, and you can open it at the center. Okay. This is my tip. Ah, this is a good and tip. And for the rest of the oil in the center. Okay. And follow the eggs. Wow. These, These are really good tips. These are great. <laughs> this way, right after you put the eggs in, you don't stir it right away. Because if you do that, you get scrambled eggs, not hot time. Okay. Not hot time, the egg makes it in pieces. And so you and it's not dried out. See when you see the white eggs until you take the turn white, you can, yes. you can start getting the egg yolk. This is so awesome. Okay, this is so great. We are really learning how to make real pad pie. Let me step a little bit. Okay. And this way, the noodle will turn caramelizing a little bit because of the sauce, the sugar. Yes. Then you use the sugar and then you and then sweep them. Okay. Then you can start baking the um, egg. Okay. Now you can see, that's the beauty of little kind of um, yes. caramelizing. Okay, now you can season with the chili powder or chili flakes. Okay. And then half of the peanut, you want the peanut, please have another half to be put on top. Okay. Oh, okay. And then we have garlic chives, right? And, and the, the last, last thing, bean sprout. the last thing is the bean sprout. Right. After you put the bean sprout in, you don't overcook them because you want them to stay unfresh. Okay. And this is in the turn to completely cook already. Voila. So this is a very fast meal too. Yes. I mean, other than the chopping and the prepping, but yeah, once you're not that once you're cooking yeah. it, it's fast. That's right. Okay. And this is the plating. Yeah. And then, that looks so beautiful. Oh, all the flavoring, and we can squeeze the fresh lime juice. Okay. Okay, so now I'm making the pad thai. I put half the oil in the pan. Um, I've got my palm sugar and my tamarind paste, and my fish sauce, all making my pad thai sauce. Uh, and then I just mix this up, kind of melt the sugar a little bit. Okay. I'm making pad thai in Thailand <laughs> with the expert Tam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So that's on high heat, medium high, 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 high heat. Okay. Okay, and I'm trying to kind of get this sugar dissolved, sort of. Okay. Make sure you dissolve it. Ah, okay. So make it easy. If you get it dissolved in here, then you don't have to, to worry about it in right. there. Got it. And this, you were saying, I can make a lot of this right. in advance. And we need to boil this. I would bring this to a boil yes, and then it's I can stay nice. And then you can stay in a nice clean jar. Look in the refrigerator. Stay for many weeks. Okay. That's great. Okay. My All right. Hot That's hot garlic first. <laughs> okay. I've got my minced garlic going in there. And I cook that first. Yes. I love this spoon. Really? Yeah. I, okay. Oh, really? Oh, that's amazing. I love this spoon. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Garlic's my favorite thing. You didn't have to wait for the garlic to Because you're smelling it. Right. All right. So I add the next thing. Okay. Was this this one? Yes, radish. The radish. Can I just do this? Or do I have to use the little spoon? Right. So that was my minced fermented radish. And tofu next. To sliced tofu. 
and you said this tofu has some turmeric on the outside yeah, of it? Yeah, a yellow coating, the yellow okay. color. Okay. And then, then baby shrimp. The dry shrimp. Dry baby shrimp. And do I add the shrimp yet? Okay. Go ahead and add the prawns. Okay. And then, then I'm going to let this cook for a little bit, right? Okay. And then my sous chef comes and cleans everything up. That doesn't happen in my kitchen at home. I have to clean everything up in my kitchen at home. When you're done, clean up. Yeah. When you clean the mix. Yeah. That's really nice. Someone else cleans it all up for you. Okay, so how long do we think this... You can put the chicken in the I can now. Yes. Okay. Now you can put it out to the side. Kind of put it off to the side. Yes, and then make it up to the side to work in. So this is what I'm loving. So I've got, I'm putting it off to one side so that I'm going to have the other half of the pan to do... I'm cooking for the noodles. Uh, the noodles. Okay. So. Now what do I do? Now, do I wait a little bit or just do the noodles? So I put the noodles in. And those noodles have been just soaking, just soaking for like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And then I put a little water. And then I'm keeping those noodles and the water off to one side. Make sure that when the water is dried out, you check the noodle. Right. See if it's done. So when the water's dried out, um, I'm going to check the noodle and see if it's al dente. Or completely cooked. We need to be you don't want it to be al dente. No, because it's al dente. Too crunchy. Oh, okay. If we're going to add the seasoning in, then we'll put the noodle, not just the cook. Okay. That's why we need the noodle to be completely cooked. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm cooking Thai food. <laughs> you actually can try the noodle bit, but usually about a quarter of a cup for one serving. Uh, a quarter cup of water? Yes, for one serving. Okay. It almost looks too like the water is like kind of thickening up. Right. Gently stirring. Gently stirring? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Check the noodle. Check the noodle. I think I was not gentle enough on the noodles, and then some of them got cut, so that's a secret. Be gentle on your noodles. I think it's soft enough, but do you want to try it to yeah, see no, if I can tell. you yes. believe me? You can tell. Okay. Now I can mix it. Now I mix it. Okay. And then I add the the sauce. The, oh, the sauce. Right. I forgot. The meat, the pad thai sauce. I add the sauce. Then you gentle stir it. Gentle stir it. Make sure that all the ingredients is cooked into the sauce. Okay. Making sure all the ingredients are coating the noodles. Okay. And is this where I make the hole in the middle? Okay. Okay. So just let it cook a little bit. So these are going to get beautiful with our caramelized noodles. Right. Caramelized noodles. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Now you can open it with the finger. Can you? Yeah. The hole in the finger. When you see the noodle getting running in, yeah, you can stop right there. Right. That's, me, That's where you want it. And then you add the rest of the oil. Follow your egg. Okay. Now you can add the egg. 
When you see the white eggs and she cook it, then white, right? Yeah, they then start to break it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Step by step into this. I feel mm -hmm. like this is, I'm getting it though. Like yes. I see, you're right, the muscle memory of like, I watched you do it, and now I'm doing it. I think I'll remember it. I'll remember how to do yes. it when I get home. But now you can break the eagle. Okay. Okay, so now I'm, I'm breaking the egg yolk. I'm trying to cover the, the egg white part. And then that's going to cook more, right? Right. And then I can flip it at some point? Not yet? Okay. 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 Then you go. Okay. I flipped the egg. Okay, so now I'm going to break apart the egg. Yes. It's kind of big, big pieces, you said, right? right. Sort of big pieces. And then you can stir it. And then I start stirring it up. Ooh, beautiful. Now you can see. Oh, it's beautiful. starting to look like pad thai. Wow. Then you can oh. add the, the other thing. Chili powder. powder. All of it? Yes. Okay. Alright. And then even half of the peanut. Half of the peanut. Because I'm leaving the other half to go on top. Right. And then all of the yes. all of the chives. Bring that around a little. Beautiful. It's very caramelized. It's looking very pretty. I'm doing good, right, Chef? Very good. Right. Yeah, and then so. the bean sprouts? Yes, yeah, they're right. Oh, if I cook this for my friends, everyone's going to be very impressed. Yes, definitely. Okay. And that's done. Is that it? That's yeah. done? So I just put that on the yes. plate? Do you agree? So many people say like this is the best pad thai. What? Uh oh, down. there goes the shrimp. Shrimp down, shrimp down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Paying yeah. attention to that. Yes. Okay. And, and then, then to top of the rest of the And then the rest of the peanuts go on the top. Ah, and then people give you applause. Yay! <laughs> Beautiful. And there you have it. Pad thai from Thailand. I want to thank Chef Tam and all of her team at the Amita Thai Cooking School in Bangkok. What a great experience. And here's her recipe.